Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Barron back again to show you a few more tutorials with the Easy School app. And today we are going to be adding money to our lunch accounts. So I'm going to start first by logging into my school Blackboard account. If you don't have it bookmarked yet, it's zionschoolbelleville.myschoolapp.com. Once you get there, you're going to enter in your username, which is the email that you provided for us back when you registered your students to be here at Zion this year. And once in our BlackBot account, I'm gonna make sure I'm going to my parent account. Most of you won't have to worry about that. That's exactly where you'll go. And I'm gonna to head to my resources page. I'm gonna choose the Easy School app resource, which is gonna take me to a different online window. And once again, I have an option here that many of you won't have. You'll just be logged in automatically as a parent. Once I'm inside here in my parent account, I can see the menu just like I showed you before where I've made my lunch selections for my kids. I'm going to go here to the tab today that says meal payment. So you can see both names of my children here listed on the account and how much money is still left in their accounts. And you can see I've got one, well, they're both getting low. So I want to add money to these accounts. Now, prior to doing all of this, I did go to the credit cards tab and I added my credit card in. You will have to do that. So you'll have to add your credit card information in. There is a service fee for using credit cards. So I'm going to show you how to um, do a little trick to make sure that you don't get charged too many service fees. When I want to add money to one of my children's accounts, I'm going to hit on that link that says add money. I'll choose the credit card that's in there and I'm going to add an amount, let's just say $20. You can choose a specific amount as you can see here. You'll see there's a convenience fee for $1.95 and my total amount is there. So I'm going to go ahead and add that amount now. And it's reflected on the current balance. Now, I don't want to incur another service fee when adding money to my other child's account. So I'm going to use this handy button down here that says to transfer money between students. And I can choose to transfer from my oldest son to my youngest son. And I'm just going to split that amount that I added. And voila, it's done. And I only had to pay one convenience fee in order to do that. So you can put whatever amount on your lunch account that you'd like and then go ahead and transfer it between the amount of children that you have here on our campus and only pay the one-time service fee. Now, if the service fee is something you want to avoid altogether, you may continue sending in lunch money with your children into school via check or cash in an envelope marked for the school kitchen. And we'll make sure that that gets added and you should see those amounts reflected here on this exact same page.